able to say a prayer over you today. So let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, oh, it's been a hard year, a hard couple of years. But God, I thank you so much for the people who have worked tirelessly to bring a little restoration for these seniors this year. I thank you for resumed classes. I thank you for all of the opportunities that this year has afforded them. And so God, this day is a product of more than just a year or two, 17 or 18 years in the making. What began as infants, and now we send them out into independence. And so, God, I thank you so much for all of the precious years you have given us with these students. I thank you for their hard work, the excellence that they have put into their studies and their extracurriculars. And I thank you so much for the parents and the family who sit behind them this, this day. I thank you for all of the instruction, the life lessons, and the walking beside them so that today could happen. So Lord, I just give you honor. I give you praise because every step you have been there. And God, I trust you will be with them every step they take from here. And so God, may we bless you today. May we give you glory and praise. It's your holy and precious name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the 113th commencement ceremony at St. Marcus Baptist Academy. In a few short moments, we will celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. <laughs> as they cross this stage and accept their diplomas, signaling the completion of their upper school education, they will join a distinguished list of more than 6,000 individuals as alumni of San Marcos Academy. I am aware that families and friends of these graduates will be joining us from all over the state, the United States, and the world for this historic event. Family and friends, Thank you for making the trip and honoring these graduates with your presence here this afternoon. There are individuals from the Board of Trustees present, and I have asked that Mr. Bob Wiegand recognize them a little later on. As we begin the commencement for the class of 2021, I want to take this opportunity to remind you that this is a solemn ceremony. Parents, guardians, relatives, and friends are joining us from hundreds, even thousands of miles away just for the opportunity to hear the name and see the face of their student during this event. I ask that you silence your cell phones and please keep your applause polite and brief so that we will not miss the name of any of our graduates. You may also stand in place quickly and take a photograph so that you will not block the view of anyone else around you. We appreciate all of you for this consideration. Commencement is a historic event under normal circumstances. For the class of 2021, this is undoubtedly an unforgettable time. These students have suffered through a pandemic and the ever-changing protocols and have proven themselves resilient and ready to face the challenges of the world. My prayer for you graduates comes from Philippians chapter 1. I thank my God every time I remember you always praying with joy for all of you. I thank God for your partnership in preaching the good news with us here at SMA. God began doing a good work in you, and I am sure he will continue it until it is finished when Jesus Christ comes again. And this is my prayer for all of you, that your love will grow more and more, that you will have knowledge and understanding with your love, that you will see the difference between good and bad and will choose the good. That you will be pure and without wrong for the coming of Christ. And that you will be filled with the good things produced in your life by Christ to bring glory and praise to God. Amen. 
And now I invite Mr. Bob Wiegand, the Senior Vice President and Chief Academic Officer, to introduce and recognize some of our guests before introducing the valedictorian and salutatorian for the class of 2021. I would like to recognize members of our Board of Trustees that are present this afternoon. To my left is the Chair of our Board, Dr. Ruth Welburn. She'll be presenting the diplomas to our graduates. In the audience is Mr. Billy Belcher, Class of 73, the Vice Chair of the Board. Mr. Danny Doughty, member of the Board. Thank you, Trustees, for your guidance and support. Now, Mrs. Tamara Howe, Principal, will introduce our salutatorian, and valedictorian. This year's salutatorian has been a student at SMA for seven years. He has excelled in the classroom and in the athletic arena. He is the son of John and Carrie Lucas and will attend Baylor University in the fall. I am proud to introduce your 2021 salutatorian, Logan Lucas. Academy without a clue as to what the next seven years would hold in store. I know some of you are currently thinking to themselves, first seventh grade year? Did the salutatorian fail a grade? Although a hilarious thought, I did not. I came to the Academy the year before a sixth grade was implemented, and I was let into SMA with the requirement that I repeated because I was simply too young. I remember being beyond frustrated with the fact that I had to repeat, and from that point on, I wanted nothing more than to grow up quicker. Looking back, I wish I would have lived in the moment. Fast forward to Thursday, April 29th of 2021. I was doing what I always did after school, pretending to do homework while actually jamming out to my excessively loud music. <coughs> sorry, not sorry, not like that. I was in the midst of struggling with a ridiculous calculus question when the song Five More Minutes by Scotty McCreary began to play. It was probably the 300th time I had heard it, but this time it stopped me in my tracks. I put down my pencil, laid flat on my bed, and just absorbed the lyrics. Over and over again, I have heard Scotty McCreary say, I wish I had me a pause button, and sometimes this life will leave you wishing that you had five more minutes. But never did they apply to my life more than they did in that moment. My head was suddenly flooded with the memories I had experienced lessons I have learned, and ultimately the realization that the time had come for my graduation. When I started at the academy, my sister, a 2017 graduate, and I both rode the bus from the Kyle to GB, but now she is slated to graduate college next year, and I'm hopefully graduating soon after the speech. <laughs> I have witnessed several transitions while at the academy, most notably two presidential elections, a pandemic, and Dr. Gunther adding doctor to his mile-long list of titles. <laughs> Beyond those, I began to reminisce about the unique incidents and friendships that developed through the classroom and sports arenas. Speaking of the classroom, my peers will be the first to tell you that it was a place I was seemingly never in. As soon as Brandon saw me after an absence, he would immediately come over and call me the new kid. I would later walk into seventh period calculus and see the Logan's streak counter reverted back to zero. However, when I was in the classroom, there were many notable moments. Among my favorites are when Colonel Smith threw Sean's soccer cleats out the window because they reeked. <laughs> or when our rowdy middle school class would get way too political for its own good. Lastly, watching Miss Boyer's frustration boil over at 8.15 in the morning because she had to deal with the uncontrollable senior boys advisory. Miss <laughs> Boyer, who would have known that we had to split up? Julian and Gino. <laughs> when it came to sports, the basketball court and baseball field were my happy places, the places where I could be with my brothers and not have another worry in the world. 
Coach Wade is convinced that the collective IQ of the baseball team drops below 30 as soon as we step onto the field. <laughs> and to that I say, we just like to keep things interesting. It is common knowledge that Evan and I share a brain in the classroom, but ever since the first time Mason and I stepped on the field to report together, we became inseparable. Alex and I unexpectedly bonded over country music and furthered that connection through the love of baseball. I could probably write a whole book about every memory and friendship that was made during my time at the Academy, but the class of 2021 would really like to get on with our ceremony. I now turn my full attention to my fellow graduates. We thought graduation would never come. At one point or another, each of us wished we could fast forward to exactly where we are now. We are oh so close to walking across that finish line and completing that goal we have been striving for. But there are things we wish we could relive. Personally, I wish I could have another at-bat on that baseball field or even get called the new kid just one more time. So, as we all continue in our separate journeys, I ask that you seize the moment. You will never have another high school graduation or another chance to ruin Miss Boyer's work. If there is only one thing you take away from what I have said, let it be this. Do not be like 10-year-old Logan. Take advantage of every opportunity, lesson, and blessing that is thrown your way. Because it time moves on whether you want it to or not. Otherwise, you will be left saying, I wish I had five more minutes. Thank you. SMA for six years. He exemplifies all that San Marcos Academy stands for. He is the son of John and Meredith Shabby and will attend Texas A&M in the fall. I am honored to introduce to you your 2021 valedictorian, Evan Shabby. True. 
And while Ms. Strauss lectured us on reliable and credible sources, Mr. Mappin taught us how to give CPR and AP calculus. <laughs> we learned that chapel steps with Colonel Smith were more synonymous with agony than salvation. <laughs> Mr. Gasky taught us how to speak, write, think critically, be conscious citizens, and dab. <laughs> Coach Wade demonstrated how to grow beer. And Miss Boyer worked us hard, but she proved that even a woman of great strength was no match for Julian and Senior Boys Advisor. <laughs> but all joking aside, I wouldn't trade a single second of it. When I started SMA in seventh grade, I would have never imagined that I'd be where I am today. To all the friends, teachers, and administrators, thank you. We would have never made it this far without the support y'all have given us. Your dedication is what really separates SMA from any other school. We're so grateful to have spent the last four years becoming young men and women under your guidance. Seniors, as we look back on the abundance of knowledge we've taken away from SMA, I want you to picture your life goals beyond those exit doors at the back of the RCC. Where do you want to end up in a year, five years, ten years? What do you want to accomplish to be fulfilled in life? No matter what it is, I guarantee that it won't be handed to you. On January 11th, I tore my ACL. All my dreams of scoring the winning goal in state were gone, along with my high school soccer and tennis careers. I went from being one of the most active people I know to barely being able to walk. But as I went back and forth to surgeries, doctor's appointments, and rehab, I learned something more valuable than a ligament in my knee. I learned that nobody's going to live your life for you. Proverbs 14.23 says, In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. Now, whether you take that from a biblical or just plain common sense perspective, it makes sense. Those who don't work won't accomplish anything. Class of 2021, if we want to do something with our lives, we have to step up and make it happen. Nobody's going to do it for us. We've all been there. Freshman year, geometry, didn't feel like studying for the test, failed the test. Blamed it on the teacher. It took a few years and some rough grades to realize that our study habits were the problem in the we can't just devote our lives to idle conversation and watch the world change around us. We must be a part of the change, a voice in ever-shifting society, in a mind of our own. It's up to you. Nobody will do it for you. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, Small minds discuss people. Average minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. My question, not just to the class of 2021, but to everybody in this room, is which one are you? If all we do is gossip about what other people do, how will we improve ourselves and the world around us? Ditch the Instagram. Make real connections. Surround yourself with people that you can count on. Don't wait around for somebody else to speak, for somebody else to stand up, for somebody else to help, for somebody else to do your homework. Turn your own ideas into action and make your own future. Today, San Marcos Academy turns us loose out into the world. But I urge you not to forget where you've been. We're so grateful for the teachers, family, friends, and most importantly, God, who's gotten us to where we are today. Looking back, you've prepared us for our future in ways that we'll never forget. And looking forward, seniors, I can only imagine where we'll go. Thank you.
Now we've come to the point in the ceremony where I recommend the certification of the graduates of the 113th class at San Marcos Baptist Academy. Madam Chair, Trustees, and Mr. President, under the authority you've granted me as the Chief Academic Officer of San Marcos Baptist Academy, I am pleased to certify that all the following students have completed the requirements for graduation set by the State of Texas, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, and the Accreditation Commission for the Texas Association of Baptist Schools. Will the first row please come forward? Dr. Ruth Welburn, Chair of our Board of Trustees, will present the diplomas. <laughs> Valedictorian and magna cum laude, Evan Theodore Shabby. Salutatorian and magna cum laude, Logan Andrew Lucas, Kyle Lucas. <laughs> magna cum laude, Emily Elizabeth Glosson, San Marcos, Texas. Cum laude, Mackenzie Marie Young, Canyon Lake, Texas. <laughs> Cum laude, Chimdi Pine, Iadewa Laki, Lagos, Nigeria. Please 
please come forward. Giovanni Anthony DiPolino, New Braunfels, Texas. Cibolo, Texas. Oh. 
Iglesia Miguel Makina, Mangela, Angola.
Gina, Evangelisa, Igival, Wamena, Papua, Indonesia. Chloe Lynn Zaracor, Waco, Texas. Now, Ms. Meg Lamont, Senior Class President, will present the class gift. Good afternoon. As a senior class, we've come together and decided to give the school the refurbished sand volleyball court, located in front of Derek Wolf Hall. This sand volleyball court is for future classes to stay active and engage in team activities in their free time. We hope the future classes of SMA enjoy. and the entire class of 2021 for the enhancements to the sand volleyball court. We gratefully acknowledge your hard work in raising money for this class gift. We are so proud of this class of 2021 and truly appreciate that you've contributed to a century-long SMA tradition of leaving a legacy and giving back. This tradition will have a great impact on future students, and we know that you will take all take this servant heart into your continued education and future careers. On behalf of the Alumni Association President, Cal Downey, and myself, I heartily welcome you as the newest members of the SMA alumni community. You join an elite group of approximately 6,500 graduates throughout the world. The Alumni Association provides opportunities for you to maintain the friendships that you have formed during your time here at the Academy. The Association also recognizes the achievements of outstanding students and alumni and assists the school with recruiting and facilities improvements in order to enhance connections to the Academy's rich heritage and culture. As our graduation gift to the class of 2021, the Alumni Association grants you your first year of membership in the Alumni Association. We hope to see you at homecomings in the future, beginning with your first one, October 14 through 16 of 2021. Congratulations, SMA alumni. I have the great honor to present the McNeil Cup, which was created in 1963 in memory of Reverend William McNeil. This award is the second highest award a student can receive at Sam Marks Academy. Each year, the winner's name is engraved on the silver cup that is permanently located in the school's trophy case. The selection of the student is based on academic attainment, strong achievement in the study of the Bible, Christian living in SMA and the community, and outstanding leadership. This year's McNeil Cup recipient has been at San Marcos Academy for one and a half years, which makes this achievement all the more remarkable. Here are a few comments as submitted by the faculty that led us to recognize the student today. The student is very active, has high Christian standards, gives the glory to God, and has great leadership skills. 
This student meets every requirement here. I wish she would have been here all four years of high school. She is such a great student. She is very polite and well-spoken. From leading worship in chapel to maintaining a great moral compass, she does it all with a smile. She is in great academic standing as well. Though her time with SMA seems short, what an impact she has made on us all and for Christ. She is very talented, singing, and leading worship during chapel. Join me in recognizing this year's McNeil Cup winner, Miss Emily Gloss.
Father God, we thank you so much for all that you have done in the lives of these graduates and their families. Father, as we go from this place and as they go on to pursue everything that you have put before them, we pray that you would guide each and every one of their steps. And Father, as they pursue after you and they surrender their desires and their wants, we look forward to what it is that you are going to accomplish in and through them. We pray that above all that they do, that you give them a passion to pursue after you. You give them a fire that burns in their heart. And God, we pray as they go from this place, wherever they go, they would make a lasting impact, not only in whatever career, in their families, and in everything else they pursue, but in, in the calling that you have in their life. God, we pray that they would be assured and that they would know confidently that you love them and that you care for them. And God, that we ask that you bless them today and for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, audience, please be seated for the recession.